This video will explain to you what a line spectrum is. When you have a gas that consists of elements off the periodic table, that means you have an atom with a nucleus at the center of it, and also places where an electron can orbit around that nucleus. Those are called orbitals. Now by default, an electron prefers to sit in the lowest energy orbital. This is called the ground state. However, higher energy orbitals do exist, but to get up there, an electron needs to absorb some energy from somewhere. One way to give that electron some energy is to shine some light past it. That allows the electron to absorb the energy it needs to jump up to a higher orbital. Now one thing that's interesting is that the energy difference between those two orbitals is a very specific value. The electron needs exactly that much energy to make the jump. If you don't give it enough, the electron doesn't jump up to the higher orbital. If you give it too much, it'll absorb only the energy it needs and it doesn't absorb any more. And what that means is that if you look at the light that comes out the other side, you're going to see a dark band in the spectrum. That dark band is where the light was at exactly the right energy to allow the electron to jump up to the higher energy orbital. So that's the light that the electron absorbed. So again, when you send light through the gas, only the light that has the correct energy to allow the electron to jump up to a higher energy orbital will get absorbed, and all of the other wavelengths of light will pass on by. Which means when you look at the light that comes out the other side, you'll see the full spectrum with a dark band at that one wavelength that got absorbed. However, remember that we're not actually talking about one atom here, we're talking about a gas of many atoms. And most gases have more than one electron, and they all have more than one orbital that the electrons can jump to. So there's actually more than just one wavelength that a gas can absorb. Which means we see more than one black line in the spectrum that comes out the other side of the gas. And what's really useful about this is that that pattern of black lines is unique to that gas. If I have a gas of hydrogen, I'm going to see one pattern of lines. If I have a gas of argon instead, I'm going to see a different pattern of lines. And so that pattern of black lines can be used as a fingerprint to identify that gas. This kind of spectrum is called an absorption spectrum because the gas is absorbing certain wavelengths of light. Astronomers use this to learn about what's going on out in the universe. So for example, if you look at the spectrum of light coming from a star, if that star happens to have a cool gas floating in its atmosphere, the cool gas is going to absorb certain wavelengths of light. And by looking at the pattern of dark lines in the spectrum, the astronomer can identify which gas it is. They can also study the gases in between stars in a similar way, by looking at the spectrum of light from the stars and seeing what got absorbed. However, sending light through the gas is not the only way to energize it. In the laboratory, it's often more convenient for us to electrically excite a gas. So we'd have a tube of the gas, and we'd send a high voltage through it to excite those electrons into a higher orbital. When the electrons then relax back to the ground state, they emit light. And again, just the specific wavelengths of light that correspond to the energy difference between two orbitals. And by the way, what I've been talking about in this video is called quantum mechanics. It's the idea that very small particles, like electrons, that are attached to an atom can only absorb or emit energy in little bites, called quanta, that have to be exactly the right energy. This kind of spectrum is called an emission spectrum because the electrons are now emitting light rather than absorbing light. So to recap, when you shine light into a gas and it absorbs wavelengths, you call that an absorption spectrum. So you would see the full rainbow with dark lines at the wavelengths that the gas absorbed. When you excite the gas some other way and it emits light, you call that an emission spectrum. And again, the gas will only emit light at certain wavelengths.